some new episode X-Men of Austria. <laughs> Get that Leo Pai is here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for inviting me. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad we're here. Um, very, very young gun. Always loved your sound and your uh, knowledge. Uh, even you are not our age, you are very interested in, in the good old uh, tradition of making the uh, guitar singing. So tell us a little bit about your favorite uh, amps and, 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 and battles. What I see here is uh, that's your main distortion, yes, main yes. overdrive, the Bogner. Um, well, first of all, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's really kind words, especially coming from you. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, of course, um, I guess especially if you play electric guitar, you've got to um, look back to the, to the earlier masters. Um, because it's, um, yeah, just because it's not quite the new instrument it was like I guess 50 mm. 60 years ago so anyway <laughs> pedal board uh, <laughs> no, no, yeah, we, we could talk uh, what, right. what, what what are your heroes from the old days uh, uh, well I started out um, with, with blues music mostly it was well, actually um, first it was Deep Purple mm. and, and ACDC because I guess I just that's when I was really young, I guess, like um, eight or nine years old, because um, I, I guess I just like the raw energy of it mm -hmm. that, that rock music has, and especially ACDC, yeah. just <laughs> that pure bam. Yes, that's true. Um, so, and, and, and then when I started playing a little more and I, I started to improvise, I guess it was like, let me guess. 11, 12 years old or something when I when I like figured out I can just and I can play that over that chord and then I can just use all those notes. I can just make up my own melodies right on the spot, mm. and that was really fascinating to me. That's um, that that you had such an um, easy system to work with and you could do so much with that. Even though, of course, pentatonix isn't everything. Excuse me. <laughs> but we, um, love, we all love it. Of course, <laughs> of course. I mean, most of my playing still is based on that, yeah. I guess. Mine too. And if there are some in between, I don't know what they are called. Whatever. I'm not a. Uh, are you? Did you study uh, theory, music theory, somehow? Mm. On my own, <laughs> more <laughs> so. So not not the proper way or not at a school or something mm -hmm. or a university, but, but, yeah. But mostly it's playing with the well, hearing ears or, or uh, l um, uh, listen to some other. Yes, of course, and, and YouTube, YouTube, mm -hmm. I guess, for, for a lot of young players, that's a, a great resource for, for figu figuring yes. out stuff because, and there's, there's, there's great educators on there that, that have, um, That's true. They are great at explaining yeah. stuff, and you can do it at your own pace. Yeah. You don't, because I, I did have a few lessons. Um, Peter Legat gave me like mm -hmm. free lessons, and every time I went to him, he showed me something that just blew my mind. But I, I couldn't have gone back like next week mm -hmm. and just because it, it was okay. like basic ideas. Like um, I remember, it was like. Um, Playing funk music, um, I, I know it was uh, "Can't Stop" by Red Hot Chili Peppers. That, I mean, I, I could play the notes, but it just wasn't grooving. And he said, "You gotta play it like um, I was playing in the." Just anyway, but you gotta go. You gotta play it like you would play all the 16 notes. So, so just always, you gotta get it going. When, and and I tried it and it was like <laughs> and then for the next year I, I went all crazy and 
because it was I just needed that idea and just mm. that information and and the rest I could f figure out on my own. Mm. I guess. Uh, yeah, that's uh, you play with his son in a band. Yeah, yeah, with with the Groove Bumps. That's my. Um, that's 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 the band I got with my um, friends and, and mm -hmm. with my with, with my friends my age basically. <laughs> <'Cause they're>, of course. <laughs> no, it's a good band. It's very. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, well, it's a yeah, pity that, uh, that you don't do more uh, in this kind of. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Because your main work is in the Wiener uh, Wahnsinn band. Yes, which I also, so of course, if you, if you saw his face, maybe because you are playing five times a week. <laughs> well, yeah, six yeah. Six times a week. <laughs> yeah, um, like, um, yeah, people start to know us. And, and, and um, when, I, when I joined the band, Wiener Wahnsinn, it was mainly, um, it was mainly in Donnerstadt, which is just one district of Vienna. But the hometown of the, the singer. <laughs> not from Vienna. We always call it Elendsviertel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could call it that. Uh, no, no, of course not. Uh, in English. I, no, I really like it there. It's 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 a great place. Um anyway, and, and, and now it's just basically all all over Vienna. I think people start noticing us. Um, I went to buy cigarettes last <laughs> time and um and, and the lady behind the counter looked at me and she was like you know, I gotta tell you, you look exactly like the guitar player from <laughs> Wiener Wahnsinn. No offense. And I was like, what? <laughs> that is, <laughs> yeah. <that's> great. <laughs> Which means I'm uglier than myself, I guess. <laughs> no, but that means um, a lot. That is, uh, it's fascinating uh, that uh, but you still play 90% of your gigs in, uh, in, the, in the area yeah, of Vienna. No? Yeah, basically. And this are no plan to uh, bring it, it outside a little bit in the of course, um, country? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got a little tour planned for next year, mm -hmm. but I don't know any dates yet, unfortunately. Um, but yes, of course, that's, that's, that's the plan. It was just like cool. Donnerstadt, then Vienna, then <laughs> Austria, and then, then we the world. <laughs> First we took a take, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> and then you play every now and then with my good old friend, your father, Leo. Yes, yes, of in, course. In of the course. Horak. Uh, of course, my, my biggest musical influence. <laughs> um, yeah, which is good. Of course, of Super. course. He's, he's a great player, musician, songwriter. Cool. And it, 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 it worked. But sometimes it doesn't work. If, yeah, if, if, if I, guess, I guess that was, that was my formal education. Because he he got me in his band quite early, I guess when I was like fifteen-ish years old, something like that, um, and just just playing with people who who are doing it since for years, and that just really know what you're cool too. what they're doing is just awesome because you can you can. Um, ah, well, I guess I guess music. If music is a language, um, that's that's how you learn to speak, right? You, you speak with people who can do it better than you. That's that's how well, you learn. Good learning from the best. Yeah. From the yeah, yeah, of course, cool, yeah. because because if you're a baby, you're immediately um, jamming with the pros. Uh, that's my how um, <laughs> Victor Wooten, Wooten, Wooten. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, um, put it. Yeah, so no, that's that that, that so worked out really well. You, you 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 have your own style, yeah, and you, you are much. very uh, uh, adult in your playing, which well, is good. Thank you, thank you. And now let's go to the yeah, of course. Now let's get the to the gear part. <laughs> let's get to the gear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some food for the dog here. <laughs> so we, we that's your main. Uh, that's my main overdrive. Uh, yeah. I always have it on, and my clean sound is basically so if I'm. If I j just have this one on, a little bit it's, it's like, boost. It's like just, just a bit yeah. of breakup. Mm. But if I just go to nine, it's completely clean, I guess. Yeah. Depends on the amp. Now yes, you play uh, over the. BTR 23, which may be, no, no, it's it's quite clean now. Yeah, but it sounds really great. Yeah, it's a good sounding yeah, amp. of course. And you prefer uh, clean sounding amps for your stage setup? Um, well, yes, yes, but um, 
used to be more out of necessity, I guess. Mm. Um, because sometimes you don't get to play with your own amp, of course. Um, so I just went to Plan Farbe and which is a music store in Vienna. Um, I got myself a distortion pedal and I could like get a Marshall-ish sound out of like a twin or whatever was there. Um, so I could get something that I like and um, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so so I just got used to that, like having having a having a distortion box that I could get like whatever yeah, like you whatever is what, there what, you have your sound. Like, yeah, no, that's, that's good good way of doing it. Yeah, now nowadays it's it's hard traveling around with with your own equipment. Yes, of uh, course. And yeah. and uh, with with Wiener Wahnsinn, I'm I'm fortunate enough to have people. Um, who, who carry our yeah, gear, that's, that's which is awesome. <laughs> it's, then you should it's, order Marshall sticks. Of course, of course. <laughs> now and they they would kill me. They would kill me. <laughs> um, no. But you but you have uh, the, yeah. the, the opportunity to to. Of uh, course, um, it's got booster built in, so so mm -hmm. there can get. <laughs> So that's like kind of crunchy MP-ish yeah, distortion, yeah. I guess. Um, and then I can boost it even more with my EP booster, which is just a clean booster mm -hmm. with a little bit of uh, I don't know. <laughs> Using that um, like when I'm playing like rhythm stuff, so I'm. Uh, play a lick and I want to stand out and can just turn it on. So just just a little up front because you know um, the sound guy won't won't know that, that you <laughs> but really it's your want. father. <laughs> yeah of course but he doesn't know it's like okay. a, that's that's four notes people gotta hear that so so that's what uh. I use that for. Sure. Even though it's in front of the main distortion pedal, and then I got an Archer, which will be replaced soon by the <laughs> <laughs> by the <laughs> by the TC Mojo Mojo I just bought from you like half an hour ago, but that gets me like um, so. There's actual sus actual sustain even even playing with a strat, so I can get mid range a boost. <laughs> So that's that's cool. Yeah. What happened to this pedal? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know a lot. A lot. That's just <laughs> Jägermeister. <laughs> Jägermeister. There's there's <laughs> all kinds of stuff on it. I actually cleaned my board just just for the show. <laughs> okay. Because I thought people would film it and <laughs> look so gross, like really disgusting. Yeah. And anyway, and 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 then I got a compressor pedal. That's uh, Oko. Okay. Uh, Oko. Yeah. The German brand. German. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, A little more sustained. That's cool. Or when I want, uh, when I need like a clean, clean lead sound, I can, I can, I can just with my foot, just like that. Sure. Doesn't sound too uh, compressed. Compress, yeah, like. you, if if you wouldn't know it's on, mm -hmm. and 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 that's that's also how I like to use compressors. Mm -hmm. But so could it make this uh, uh, rubber sound? Uh, uh, you mean like, like so much? I don't know. I don't think so. The country no. guys. You can just turn on a slapback delay for that. So mm -hmm. let's try. Oh, okay. Oops, that's a little much. <laughs> yeah. It's a little slow for that, I guess. Yeah, but it's good because it's also not very noisy. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's all right. You can. 
I guess it works. So. And you're very, very, very <laughs> abused. It's, it's <laughs> no, but it's a good book. Abused. Of course, the timeline you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really great. Um, I bought it for, for a few reasons and it was mainly like actual features and not, not the sound actually. Uh, but what I can do with it is I can, um, um, first of all I can, I can decide if, um, if when I like, change the preset um, what the timing is. Is it, mm -hmm. is it um, the one that's saved in the preset or is it the one that I tapped, the last one that I tapped in. So oh, if okay. I go like from say bank is uh zero zero one and I go and I can press here and I get the timing and it's um six nine and then I can go to whatever oh. say sound free A and it's still the same but I can go to sound two where my slap back delays and now it's six hundred BPM. And Ooh. it turns out there is basically no mm. delay pedals with presets that can do that. I I think the even tide one can do it. But you always meet you, not I think. Yeah, with media, I can. Yeah, yeah but I then mean, you that then you need a very complicated setup. Yeah, I'm, I'm not smart yeah. enough for that. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't figure that out. <laughs> um, yeah, the same thing with the with the expression pedal. You mm -hmm. can just um, save the what the expression pedal does to every preset, and that's pretty awesome. That's cool. That's very awesome. very cool. So I can have my like. Um, I can have that kind of a thing mm -hmm. going on um, and, and, and work the work the, the amount of the expression effect, panel yeah. for, for, for the mix level yeah. and then I can go again to my slapback delay and it's absolutely the same Oop. and, and uh, I really like that and and it has one feature that I love even though I didn't know that when I bought it, it's um, you can always go to the, you said it's called hold function on most delays, but you can, anytime you're on a preset, so, you can just hold it by stepping yeah, 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 on it. Yeah, yeah. Which sounds awesome. <laughs> Very impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. so I really like that and you can do like the, um, if it's a little much on the guitar side, <laughs> um, and and I just play like the face melter <laughs> solo, um, I can just go into like pseudo keyboard sounds. And <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> And the, uh, the last pedal is a chorus. Yes, basically, it's 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 actually a double tracker. They say, but it sounds like a chorus, or I use it as that, basically. Because I'm 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 actually not a big fan of chorus, mm -hmm. so I try to keep it subtle. The cool thing about it is you can um, delay the actual um, wet signal. So, so wait, I can show you. So. Basically, a chorus type sound. Even though oh, that sounds nice. It's not, but you can you can uh, delay the chorus the chorus oh, signal, okay. so you get like it's not a lot, but it gets a little wider, I guess. No, it sounds and sounds nice. Sounds good. So. So if I need that, I got that covered. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool, yeah. cool. Um, also, cool. it sounds really stupid if you just turn everything up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if I need like a comedic sound, I got that too. So. Yeah, the monster sound. Yeah, but <laughs> most of battles uh, yeah. react this way. No, cool setup. Yeah, I mean, it works really well. Yeah. Get the job done. And again. and and your last. Uh, uh, your, uh, your last amp uh, you got was the Mesa Booga. <laughs> Mesa Boogie, yeah, I got I got two Mesa Boogies, um, caliber fifty. The caliber fifty, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. which is like um, I guess from the eighties. Mm -hmm, yeah. The first time they made like um, I remember the rack stuff more. Don't know yeah. why, but uh, yeah, okay, yeah, they had 
combos too. And you have two, you have two combos. I have two, yeah, playing mm. stereo usually. Okay. So. Oh, okay. But you are, you you told me you you are searching for a new speaker. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get a new speaker for mm. those. I just they're just a little mid range and mm. harsh, I guess. Which is um, always easy if you have a 112 cabinet. Of course, of course, they got 112s, yeah. So, so, there is some so you recommended some stuff, thank you for that. Yeah, <laughs> in the end it's made of taste, but uh, the, uh, what did I tell you? The cream bag, the cream I, I, bag I yeah. mentioned. Yeah. yeah, it's a good, it's a good all-rounder because it has 60 watt, it handles 60, yeah. 65 watt. And I say, uh, they, they say, Marshall, uh, Gillespie say, it's, Green bag uh, sound, Greenbackish, right. green bag uh, with st 65 watt. All right, that's that's great. That sounds perfect. You know, I'll just try it if I don't like it. I mean, the next. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the search next goes on. <laughs> I mean, it's hard because you can't really um, send them back or something. Well, it's not try easy. Uh, trying speakers, not just easy. because of, like with a with a pedal or something, you can yeah. just just buy it, get it, mm. get it sent home, and mm. send it back if you don't like it. I have lots of speakers, but no, no green bag. Yeah, but yeah. you will see, you will like it. All right, I hope so. Yeah, so we, we, uh, when, when do we hear you next time with your own band? With my own band? <laughs> we don't have any dates yet. Ah, that's, that's not but good. You know what, um, if, I, if I get something before you, you post that online, um, I'll write you a mail or a message or something. But, right. but you are still working, so you, you, don't gi you don't give it up. No, no way, no way. Um, it's just we don't have any gigs planned right mm -hmm. now. That's, that's it. And are, um, are all the guys uh, as busy as you in, in, in this band? No, I um, so. It's probably. you, you are so busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, quite, I'm quite busy. <laughs> I mean, which is okay. Which, which is okay. Yeah. Hey, come on, I'm not <laughs> complaining. It's not, it, Got to be thankful for that. I mean, how many people can do exactly what they always wanted to do? So, sure. yeah, you know, the, the the danger is maybe uh, if in your case um, having not enough time for your own band. That maybe that would be more. That would would be more impact if 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 you wouldn't be so busy with the. But you are young. You can you can manage both. Yeah, f first of all that, and also, I mean, um, it's such a great opportunity to be able to play like um, professionally and basically uh, almost a hundred times a year. <laughs> it's really yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I can make a living on that. That would and, be and much more and, and harder with the own band. Yeah. Yes, of course, and, and, and I love doing it. It's mm. not. It's it's not that. Um, a, a I love doing both. Mm -hmm. Both both of them um, have their own qualities to me, and I, I also like being um, basically a, like a, a, I guess a side man. I it's guess side man, yeah. um, just and, and and just just helping someone else um, do the best they can do, if if that makes sense, and just that's a hard job as side man. Um, guy, are you, are you do you sing at, at all? Do you, do you not sing at all? Or, or I, I do. You, you, you don't I do backing it. vocals, but it's not no, your. No, I, I like doing it. I'm just not that good at it. But <laughs> you don't want to be the lead singer. No, I wouldn't want to do that. Um, I wouldn't want to do that. That makes life easier for for these guys who can manage it uh, and and want it. But I also yeah, come from the other side, from the non-speaking, non-singing, <laughs> guitar players, no, no, thank you. Well, I, I do like talking, I do like talking though, <laughs> um, like making stupid jokes, that's all right, I like that. But um, No front men. But yeah, no, and, and, and I really like supporting someone yeah, sure. doing that, someone who I think is talented and that's I, right, I can sure. do that basically every week, every mm. weekend. And you do it very good. That's well, thank good you thing. very much, thank you very much. Okay, it was a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> See you. The dates we will uh, show up uh, in the video. Okay, see you. Mm -hmm.